So, hello everyone. This is me showing you how I do the video editing in this particular bit of the behind the scenes. Uh, I'm going to show you how I edit together, I think, two parts of The Evil Within. I haven't actually done it yet, but here we go. Let's see. So the first thing we do is we import media and we go to computer, we go to videos, we go to videos, and then we go to Evil Within. What I've done is I've got the voice recording there. Um, I showed you how to do that in a previous behind the scenes. I've got the game footage there recorded with um, Bandicam. So that's why it's not so huge for 47 minutes. And then you've got the face cam there, which I record. You can record it with a webcam if you like, but I've got a separate camcorder, just a Sony camcorder that I've, um, I record everything on and then I transfer it onto my computer. So here we go, we'll import those and they all pop up here. So the first thing to do is down here, you've got your tracks. You've got track one, the video and the audio. You've got track two, the video and the audio. You can keep adding more and more. Uh, and then you've got the title track, the voice track, the music track. You can use them pretty much however you like, but I'm going to be doing them you know, as they're supposed to be done. So first things first, we stick the evil.wav down there. Now let's have a listen. If we move along a bit to there. I was singing before we started. Hope I don't say anything embarrassing. Right, let's listen further on. There you can see the waveform now. That's good. Don't pick up the axe for God's sake. Not that now, not. <laughs> so obviously I'm having a bit of a troubled time. Uh, now, what we need to do is, um, I, well, first of all, I should tell you, this is PowerDirector. This program, It's it cost me about 60 pounds to buy. It's PowerDirector 12. I think they've updated it to 13 since, but there's not a huge difference, I don't think. 12 is working really well for me, and I won't be upgrading for a long time yet. It's It's got its flaws, it's got its bugs, but on the whole, it's a pretty good video editor, and it's quick and easy. I use Final Cut at work, but I don't want to use that here, and I haven't bothered learning Premiere, because I don't need it for the sort of stuff I'm doing. So, first things first, we're going to save the project, because we need that to be saved. Uh, that's I am bread, so let's go up one, and we get to, where are we? The Evil Within. Uh, right, so I'm going to call this The Evil Within 10. It's actually going to be episodes 10 and 11, but I'll show you how I split them up then. It's a good idea to keep saving all the time, because this program can crash, and you don't want to lose all the work that you've put in. So, we've got that down there. What do we do next? We need to sync it up with this. Because if you listen, oh, let me just remove that. Actually, no, let's not move that. Uh, that's just disappeared off the bottom. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this up a little bit more so you can see all the tracks at once. Um, there, that'll do it. So, what I need to do, once this waveform has loaded, shouldn't be too long. Well, once it's loaded, I can start matching it up. Because if we turn that off and you listen to the uh, footage itself, then... You can see, we you can hear, apply. you can hear there's that background hum, you know, that background sort of fuzzy hum thing. And that's why I don't use the audio from the uh, camcorder. It's not very good. Make them drop it, I reckon. There you go. So there we go. Now it's load. Now it's loaded up, and you can see roughly that this bit here should go with this bit here because uh, it matches all the way along. Then you've got a bit of shouting there, going no, 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 no. I'd imagine. Let's listen. <laughs> you are dead. Bam. No, 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 it's actually more productive than that. Okay, so what we're going to do is move this back, um, and it's roughly in line. So now I'm going to get to the bit I need to sort out, and I zoom in. I'm just control mouse wheeling here to zoom in. I've actually got that pretty spot on, but let's listen to them both. So we'll turn this back on, and let's have a listen. Uh... Oops, wrong bit. That's me going, ah. Uh... It'll be at the start here, so I usually say recording the camera in a very deliberate voice so I can match it up. Recording, recording the, camera. the camera. Okay, so you can hear that this is slightly ahead and you can see that as well. So what I'm going to do is just move it back, probably about there. Let's have another listen. Recording the camera. Right, that's pretty much good enough, but I am just going to move it another frame or two uh, to the right because I think that'll be much more perfect now. Recording the camera. There you go. Sounds like it's one thing. So now we can right click on this clip, mute it. So now no sound is going to come from there. It's all going to come from the uh, microphone I recorded in Audacity, like I've shown you before. Have a listen. Recording the camera. 
Lovely. Recording the camera. <laughs> okay, good. <clears throat> so now I'll save it. Now I've got that done. Don't have to do that again. Brilliant. Um, what I'm going to do now, in fact, actually, I'm going to do this now before I forget. Uh, I will just cut, I'll, I'll cut it here. We can do that this bit later, but I'm just going to cut the whole lot there by clicking split. It splits everything. If you've got, no, if you've got nothing selected, it splits everything at the line where, where you've got this. Um, so I can delete all of the stuff before because I know that it's pointless and useless. So I hold down Alt, press Delete, and it moves everything else back. Okay. You can see sometimes the waveforms mess up a bit as you zoom in and out. That's just one of the bugs of the program, unfortunately, but it's okay. Uh, and now I'm going to move this track down here. You'll see why later. Basically, I have on track three, I have my face. Track two, I have the uh, Evil Within footage. And then track one, I have my introduction and outro duction. But you'll see that as it happens. So, We've got that sorted. Now, what I probably should have done is find where we start the game. Four, three, two, one, fraps. Okay, you've probably heard me do that a couple of times. Let's just split it there, get rid of the guff, what we don't need. Um, you've probably heard me do that before, haven't you? Go five, four, three, two, one, fraps, when I've had to do it midway through a game. That's just so I know roughly where to line the footage up. Uh, but I'll show you there's a slightly better way of making sure it's aligned later. Okay, five, five four, three, two, one, fraps. Okay, let's pause it where I say fraps and drag the footage down so it matches up there. Okay, you can see that's now on the outside. Anything that's lower here, so a higher number means it's on top up here. So for example, if I put, if I move this up to track one uh, and then went there where this is on top of it, you can see it's got it boxed in there. So you'd have, you'd have it playing, but it's behind the game footage. So obviously we want it on top of the game footage like that. Lovely. So that should be about right where we've put that, but the best way to tell, um, it's often very difficult in games, but if there's music that I'm singing along to, I try and find it so I can sync it up to the music, because then I know it's definitely right. But the more surefire way is if you find where, shit, I need to save it before it breaks. There we go. Um, there we go. The more surefire way is to find somewhere where you've got some flashing lights. Uh, so what I'm going to do first, um, is, well, I'm going to sync it up in a second. What I'm going to do first is uh, put myself up in the top right corner. So what I've got here, as you can see, is I've put uh, grid lines. I've got eight by eight on the screen. Um, so that's these things. So you can see the middle of the picture, the middle of the picture. Uh, you can see different sections like that, just so you can line things up better. And one thing I'm going to do here is just line this up over to the right. I've got snapping on. You can turn that on and off here, snap to reference lines. Uh, and then I can make it smaller by grabbing this. And what I normally do is I have it here and then one out of snap. So you can see I'm dragging it and it's not going anywhere. There we go. So I want to get it to the one where it's just out of snap. I find that size. There we go. Works perfectly. So that's done. Okay, now what I want to do is make sure we've got it definitely synced up. So I want to find a bit with some flashing lights. I know there's some flashing lights around here. Uh, let's have a little look. I mean, this is all spoilers, so, you know, don't worry about that. Right, let's zoom in. Okay, let's have a watch. What do you think of that? Okay, this is where, as you can see, we've got a bright white screen. Uh, so what you need to do is compare the brightness of this to the brightness of the reflection on my face. It's very cool. It's, it was really easy when I had glasses because you could make out images and things. But here we go. So if we step forwards little bit by little bit, we can compare how bright it is. Okay, so what we can see there is, right, that's full white and then bam, it goes down to darker. But as you can see, my face isn't getting much darker. It doesn't get darker until there. So that's where this bit happens. Are you with me? I hope this makes sense. Sorry, I, I know it's it's difficult what I'm going on about. So if we go back a frame, you can use the key bindings or you can just click. Um, right, so I need to make, I need to move the footage one frame to the right on this because it needs to be one frame later to match up with that. So I go to the footage. Uh, it's easy if you go all the way back to the start. Uh, zoom right in like that until you can't zoom anymore and then drag it to the right and there you go 
Wow, I am zoomed in far. All that little bit there is a frame. So I've done that. You don't need really to do that because it's kind of perfect. It's it's not perfect, but it's kind of good as it was. Um, where is it? There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's watch that bit again. That. Okay, now we'll start going through the frames. There we go. So. There we go. That looks about right to me. Ah, it's roughly right. Who cares? Um, all you need to know is that it, it's within you know 0 0.01 of a second or something uh, in. So it's fine. Right, what I'm going to do now is just split that off so we've got it all snipped at the start and delete that. Then we'll go to the end. Make sure we've got it all here. Okay, so let's just get the ending right. <sighs> Sorry, I just need to let off steam. Bye. <laughs> there we go. So you can see I'm, I'm, I'm sort of going back and forth to try and pause it at just the right time for where I want the intro to come in. So let's do this again. Let off steam. Bye. <laughs> there you go. I think that's right. I like to have the little laugh at the end, so we'll split that just down there. Again, I didn't have anything selected, so it splits everything. And we can just take all of that and delete it. So now what we've got is a perfectly synchronized game footage, which is still loading the waveform. It takes a very long time because it's such a huge file. Um, the face cam and the audio of me face camming. The face mic. I don't know. Right, so it's all there. And I want this to be roughly two episodes, I think. If we have a look at that, it says end time 47. So that's 47 minutes long. That's too long for one episode. Half that is, what, 23 and a half minutes. That's about right. You know, I like to have episodes of between 15 and 30 minutes. So 23 and a half is almost exactly in the middle of those. So I think that's fine. Um, I'd like it to be a little bit longer. So I should have played a bit longer. But in fairness, I was at the end of a chapter, as you can see. So I thought it was a good place to stop. So the first thing I want to do now, before I start chopping anything up, is I need to make sure that everything sounds and looks right. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to apply everything I do to each individual chunk once I've cut it up. So I'd like to do it all now on the big videos uh, and then start chopping. So the first thing is uh, I found that the game is very dark. Uh, there's a good part of that back. There's a good uh, example of that over here. Good grief. There you go. Right. OK, so it's very dark here. Um, hang on. There we go. Right. Okay. Well, let's just leave it there. That's quite dark. Um, I won't keep on mucking around. Uh, what we want to do is click fix slash enhance. Then we go to color adjustment, strangely, and tick it. And then what we want to do, it gives us lots of different things we can do with the video here. We can up the exposure, which really makes it bright. I don't want to do that. Uh, we'll take it back down to 100. Actually, I should have just clicked reset. That's quicker. Um, but there's brightness here. You can muck around with anything as to your heart's content, but I generally stick the brightness up to about 20 or so. YouTube tends to darken stuff, uh, and maybe the encoding process does as well when you're starting to make the final video. So I just up the brightness a little bit, um, and it's done. You can click apply to all, and it will apply to everything on the same track as it. Uh, I mean, I'll just click it, but it doesn't really matter. And also you can compare video qualities in split. So you can see the original and you can see the better. There's not much difference really by the look of that, but who cares? So click out of that and we've got a nicely brightened video. Ah! Nice. Yeah, I like watching this back sometimes. So we've done that. The next thing to do is um, you can see this. It doesn't have a board around it. It's very sort of yeah, it's just planted over the top. I like it to have a border. So we get this. We can double click it. I tend to double click it, but you can modify as well. Uh, and there you go. You've got it up there. You've got a screen of it. Uh, you've got lots of different options here. You can chroma key, which is like green screening. You've got shadow reflection border, flipping it. So I can make it left to right and put it on the other side if that's covering a vital part of the uh, screen. But it's not, so I'm going to leave it. And uh, you've got other things as well. An opacity. So if you want to make it opaque, you can do that. I don't need any of that. I just need to apply a border. I tend to just use uh, size one and make it black. Um, so now if we save that and you look up here, you've got to say that was some fairly decent shooting. 
it's a little bit nicer. Let me just drag this down, make it a bit bigger for you so you can see it. There you go. You can see that nicer. And that just gives it a little bit extra. It just makes it that, you know, it just, it's just a bit nicer to look at. And it just, I don't know, it probably makes you think that I'm better at what I do than I am. <laughs> but hey, it's good. Right, save it. <clears throat> right, now what we want to do is make sure the balance of sound is right. I'm just going to move back to the home. You can hit home and end to get to the home and the end. Uh, this bit I'm speaking quite a lot and this bit's quite loud from me talking as you can see by this. So I'm going to take this because it, it's likely that the sound will be quite loud as well. So let's just have a listen and see how uh, how the sound is. Uh, if I need to be louder or quieter and so on. In face. Ready? Boom! You're dead and so are you any second. Shit! Uh, uh, don't crouch please. Okay. I think that should be louder. I'm way too quiet there. So what I'm going to do is select myself, go back to home. Then over on here on the left is the audio mixing room. So it replaces the footage bits here with the audio mixing room. So you've got voice, music, audio one, audio two, audio three. So we're looking at audio uh, two, two there. Uh, audio one, oh, audio three is muted. Remember, I muted that, so it's greyed out. Audio one that has nothing in it yet. <clears throat> Music has nothing in it, but the voice does. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is we make sure we're at the start, and I'm going to increase it. It goes up to plus, God knows, twelve decibels. I think I'm going to put it up to. I think I usually put it up to about five, five and a half, six. I make it up to be quite honest with you, and then see how it sounds. And then annoyingly, you've got to go all the way to the end and do it again there. Oh no, no you don't. Okay, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I don't really understand why. Right, now let's have a listen to the same bit. Or same-ish bit, I think that's it. Come, you're gonna get it. Bam, you are dead. Bam, so are you. I'm doing brilliantly. Uh, so that's that's a bit better, but I still think the mu the uh, the volume of the game is a bit too loud. So we select the game, go back to the start, and I'm gonna make it minus, let's say three. Then you hit enter, and I think this time I'll need to go to the end. There you go, you see, it's got a sort of rising thing as now it's gone to naught. So I'm at the end, I hit three, hit enter, and it doesn't crash. We save it quickly before it does crash, and it's all, <coughs> it's put those down. Oh shit, no, it hasn't put it down, because I've made it plus three rather than minus three. There we go. It seems to snap to some random thing like minus 2.9 or whatever. Oh dear. This sometimes happens. Uh, apologies for this. Uh, you just got to either minimize it or maximize it. There we go. <laughs> again, another bug that's annoying. Okay, move back home. Save it again. And let's go to the loud bit. There we go. It's, there's millions of them. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm scared. Oh, I'm, I'm too scared. I don't know what I'm doing. Run. Okay. Okay, that's quite good because... It's got me speaking loudly, but it's over a noisy bit of the game. Let's have another noisy bit of the game. This bit's quite noisy. I remember this bit being quite noisy. Uh, let's find me speaking quite quietly during the noisy bit. That'll be there. Oopsie daisy. Set on fire. Oh my god. Really? 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 You're not going to set him on fire? Shit, will you fucking kill them? <laughs> okay, good. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Still got a bit of a cough. That sounds good to me. I think we've got that right. Doesn't usually take me that long to work it out because I'm not usually explaining it, but there you go. So that sounds fine. Uh, let's zoom out so we can see the whole thing. Right, I'm happy with how it sounds and how it looks. I don't need to go through and edit anything because I know that I didn't have to stop. I didn't do anything that needs editing out and... I used to edit all my videos and take out the boring bits and leave in the good bits and that kind of thing, but people said, we want to watch the whole thing, so there you go, I'm just uploading unedited stuff, which is quite nice. It's for compilations and things that it takes a bit longer. So what did I say? It's about 23 and a half minutes is where I thought I needed to split it, so let's go, well, we're about there anyway. Uh, we're about here. So let's have a look at where we are. Now, only I know where I am in the story here. Um, it's me then. I'm glad you're both all right. Me me too. It's odd, though. Okay, I know this is where I've been re reunited with the two of them. Uh, that was a bit earlier. So what I need to do is I need to find a good place to stop it. Uh, there's a good bit of silence here. Another one of those doors. Shit. There you go. That'll do. Me saying shit. 
always works. So I say shit, and let's just watch how the episode uh, 11 is going to start. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. So it, it, it carries on. It's not mid-word or anything or mid-sentence, so I should be all right. Uh, that's a good place to end it, I think. Um, it's got a bit of boring, you know, mucking around in the asylum, upgrading my stats and everything, but meh, it's okay. That's, a, that's fine to start with that. So I've got it into two segments now. So there's video one, which is duration 24 minutes 58, and video two, which is 22 minutes 36. Again, both a bit shorter than I'd like, but I don't have enough footage, so we're just going to have to leave it at that. So I'm going to save it. Uh, in fact, actually, what I'm going to do first is delete the second half, and you can see it's called The Evil Within 10, so I will save The Evil Within 10, like that. Saved, lovely. Now I will just undo that, put the second half back, delete the first half, like that, make sure it's at the beginning, and then save as... The Evil Within 11. So there you go. I've got two different episodes. Easy. Uh, now, all I need to do is put the outro and intro, put the fades on, and then render it. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is import media files. Right. Go to Libraries. Go to Videos. Templates. And currently, I've got quite a few different ones here, but I am using at the moment Outro 3. Uh, the grilled cheese storpy one. So I open that and import it. Uh, and also I need to import um, the Evil Within intro, which is in the Evil Within. There it is. Those are the bits of music I used from Epidemic Sound for the uh, intro. Very good. In fact, I think one of them... What's that? <laughs> I think I was maybe going to use a a uh, quirky one rather than a scary one, but then I opted for scary in the end. Okay, so we've imported the intro and the outro. Let's do the outro first. That's probably the easiest. Take it, bung it on the end. Now, these are videos that I've already done in the past and rendered, so as you can see... Let's drop this a sec. How do I drop it? Uh, that's that button. Smash! So, the well-known outro that you all know and love. Right, we're here. Let's zoom in there. It always zooms in where your marker is, which is very helpful. Uh, let's have a look at this then. So let's see how it ends. There's a lot of steam. Bye. <laughs> let's drop this a sec. There you how go. I drop Perfect. It? That's easy. So that's, that's all it is for the outro. And it sounds about right in terms of balance as well. That doesn't sound too loud. It's a little bit louder, but I like it to be a you know big smash of an outro. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, I just need to let off steam. Bye. <laughs> let's drop this a sec. And it's not going to blow anyone as, anyone's ears. <laughs> I love it. Okay, stop messing around. Now we go back to the start. Uh, select all by... Make sure you're in here and press Control A to select everything. Now that'll select the in, the outro at the end. It's got everything that's in here. So now I won't be moving one thing across like this without moving, um, without moving other bits because then you get synchronization issues and it's horrible. So I'm going to move that out a little bit and get the intro. I should have done this first. Uh, bung the intro up there on track one, because what I want to do, well, as you can see with the intro, let me just put it halfway through. What you can see with this is it does this. So it's got some gently fading out music at the end there. And I like having this, like the footage, if it plays, there we go. I like having it fade in um, while that's fading out. So what we're going to do is zoom in. Now I know this, uh, it's about there that it's gone completely black. Yeah, there you go. So it's usually about there that I want it to be just after that, that peak there. That's where I want it to start fading in. So if I press control A and select all, this is why I should have done it earlier. Um, but never mind. Uh, then I hold down control and I can unclick both of those. So I'm not going to be moving those, but I get everything else. And then I just drag this back to about there. Then I'm going to go to the transition room, which has all sorts of different transitions, like uh, evaporate, look, oh, there you go. So that would transition from one into another, but I just want my favorites, which is fade. Uh, so that's gonna fade in nicely there with that footage, and it's gonna fade in nicely there with that footage. And it always adds another track on, I never understand that. Go away, remove empty tracks. So now if you watch, 
It's a bit laggy, but it will be fine. It's just because it has to try and render it on the fly. Excellent. I like that. And what I like to do as well, just in case there's a bit of loud stuff that comes in suddenly, is I get it just to the end of the fade, uh, the fade in. And I go back to the volume room. And then for both the voice and the game audio, I put fade in. And you can see it automatically does from zero up to where you'd already set it. And there again as well, up to where your marker is. So yeah, that's <clears throat> that's pretty much that. So we can watch that. Oh God, why is that not working? There we go. Looks good to me. And just to double check that the outro hasn't messed up, uh, go back there. Bye. <laughs> Let's drop this a sec. Okay, looks good. So if I scroll out, I can see that's the whole file there. It's all ready to go. I just have to save it and then away we go. Um, I'll do the other one in a moment. You don't need to see me do the second one. It's exactly the same process, uh, but I will just quickly go to produce so you can see that. Okay, what I do with produce is um, I've got my settings all set up. They're not ideal, um, but it's good enough. So I go to MPEG-4. I've got a custom one set up, which I call YouTube MP4. If you want to have a look at it, you can look under edit here. I've got the video settings as this. So 1080p, frame rate of 30, because that's roughly what I record the gameplay at. That I just leave it as default. That I leave it as default. Same with that. This you can have, that's the quality, the bit rate, the quality of the video. Um, you can have it just lossless up there, but quite honestly, anything above about 15, 16, 17, 18,000, you're never going to notice. So I just leave it about that because I don't want it to take too long to encode. Excuse me. Um, and then, of course, we've got high quality set there rather than high speed and deblocking, just in case there's any blocking. Um, audio is just AAC stereo and it's 192 KB because I don't think you can notice any more than that. Good. So we click OK and uh, I've got fast rendering video technology and um, I can use my, I don't know what that is, but I can use my GPU to help encode it, which really makes it quicker, let me tell you. So uh, now I need to set the output folder, set it to videos, not that one, videos, um, the evil within, where is it? There it is. And we're going to call this one, it's number 11, isn't it? So we'll just save it as 11, enter and click start. You can enable the preview during the production if you like, but I never bother. I just let it do its thang. <clears throat> so that's it done. Um, you can see it's rendering fairly quickly. Actually, it's not running very quickly at all, probably because I'm recording the screen while I do this. It'll drop down very quickly. It should only take about 10 minutes, really, at this speed or at this uh, these settings. So that's roughly how you do it. And then once it's done, I just view it to check it's all right, and then I upload it. But I will do that as a separate video another time. Right, well, this has been about 28 minutes or 29 minutes nearly, so I will leave you there. I hope that's given you an idea as to what I do and how it works and everything. Oh, just a quick note, you can actually do um, batch production. Yeah, I can't do it now, but it's under file. So you can set several videos to go at once, and then you can do shut down computer after production. So you can leave it on at night time. It'll run for two hours or whatever, and then it'll just shut itself down when it's done. So that's really good. And look, you're growing trees, which is nice. So <laughs> it's all done. Uh, there you go. There's PowerDirector 13. I think it's worth getting uh, PowerDirector. It's probably the best home video editing package that there is. Uh, I would recommend it. And the funny thing is, I'm going to be editing this video you're watching now together. So it's a video editing video about editing video or something. Anyway, I'll leave you and love you and see you on the next Behind the Scenes. Thank you very much, guys. Post down in the comments if you do have any extra questions. But otherwise, see you on the next video. Bye bye. Let's drop this a sec. How do I drop it? Uh, that's that button. Smash!